An important responsibility of a competent person is to inspect all of the shoring and shielding equipment on the job site. These inspections are specifically required by OSHA. They need to be at the start of work and as often as necessary during the day. Uh, today we're going to be inspecting this aluminum trench shield. Uh, it's 8 feet in height. It's 10 feet in length. It's got four adjustable spreaders. It weighs about 1,200 pounds. First step would be just to make an overall inspection of the shield, make certain all the components are pl in place, and there's not any obvious damage. Uh, we want to check this top rail at the very top of the sidewall. Uh, we want to check the bottom rail at the bottom. We want to check the two ends as well. Uh, we want to check the sidewall for any signs of excessive uh, deflection. Uh, sometimes, particularly on your steel shields, uh, you'll see what's called the waffling effect. And that's where a shield's been subject to some excessive loads and the skin of the shield is literally pressed into the sidewall. And that would be an area of concern. Uh, sometimes you may have a slight rip or tear in the skin of the shield and generally those types of problems are just cosmetic in nature. We want to make certain we check both sides of each sidewall. Next, let's just check the spreaders. These spreaders are prone to getting hit by excavator buckets, so we want to check and make certain they're in good condition. Uh, want to check all the pins and keepers on these spreaders. Uh, with most of your manufacturers, the pins are considered to be structural items, so we'd want to make certain they were either supplied by the manufacturer of the shield or met that manufacturer's specifications. Uh, in the field on the keepers, uh, we want to make certain we're using proper keepers. Uh, you'll sometimes see a, a nail or a welding rod or a piece of scrap steel, and those really wouldn't function properly as a keeper. Uh, the spreaders on this particular shield are attached to the side walls via these uh, vertical whalers. Uh, these vertical whalers are either going to be riveted or welded to the side wall of the shield, so we would want to check those rivets or check those wells. Uh, this particular shield has four pin-on lifting lugs. Uh, we'd want to check the pins, we want to check the wells, we'd also want to check the condition of those D-rings on those lifting lugs. Uh, particularly on your steel shields, a lot of times you'll have what are called stack pockets. Uh, there'll be four stack pockets, they'll be mounted uh, at the ends of these side walls. Uh, we'd want to check the condition of that stack pockets, the condition of the weld, and also uh, condition of the uh, pins themselves, the stack pins. Uh, final step in this inspection process is to check our manufacturer's tabulated data. Uh, it's a specific requirement that this information is at the job site at all times. Uh, the information could be given to us in one of several different ways. Uh, in some cases there may be a plate which is literally welded or riveted to the sidewall, or it may be a sticker which is on the sidewall. Uh, in other instances, it may be given to us in paper form. Uh, the format is not particularly important. What is important is that this information is at the job site. It's going to have our depth ratings and other important usage information about the shield. We have any questions in these areas, uh, we would want to check with either the manufacturer of the shield or the distributor that gave us that shield uh, to get those questions answered. Uh, by carefully inspecting the shield, we can make certain uh, it's safe, it's ready to go to work. We're also going to be meeting OSHA's inspection requirements. Thanks for watching and be safe. This training video is made possible by the generous support of Baker Corp, DP Nikolai, Efficiency Production, National Trench Safety, Pacific Shoring, Speed Shore, Trench Plate Rental, Trench Shore Rentals and Treebore Shoring Rentals, Trench Shoring Company, Trinity Industries, 
underground safety equipment, and United Rentals.